A screw compressor requires large quantities of oil for lubricating and sealing. This oil is mixed with the refrigerant at the discharge of the compressor. To enhance the performance of the heat exchanger surface, an oil separation system is placed into the discharge line. It separates oil using highly efficient centrifugal force. Approximately 99.5% of the oil is removed from the refrigerant in the separator. The design consists of four main features, refrigerant inlet, separation chamber, oil sump and refrigerant outlet. The inlet is tangential to the inside surface of the separator to allow the flow to make a smooth transition into a downward spiral. As the mixture swirls, centrifugal force and inertia cause oil particles to move outward and slide down the inner wall into the sump. The baffle plate separates the oil separator into two chambers. The top chamber is the separation chamber just discussed, and the bottom chamber acts as the oil sump. The baffle plate is situated such that there are four small evenly spaced openings along the wall between the edge of the plate and the inner circumference of the separator. These serves as a path of entry for the oil into the sump. The sump is sized such that it will provide adequate oil for injection and lubrication at all conditions. Even though the between the separation chamber and the sump chamber are small, the vapor, liquid refrigerant and oil will tend to continue to swirl in the sump chamber. Less violent activity is desired in the sump chamber to minimize oil droplets from being swept back into the separation chamber. To control this action, a vortex breaker has been added inside the sump. This consists of two vertical plates locked together in a cross. The oil leaves the sump through the side of the separator via a pickup tube. This tube is bent at an angle to remove oil from the bottom of the sump. After the oil leaves the sump, it is returned to the compressor where it enters the motor, rotor housing, differential pressure between the sump and the compressor suction drives the flow of oil. Additionally, an Imergen heater is installed on the oil separator. Whenever the unit is off, the heater is turned on. This heat drives refrigerant out of the oil in the sump, and keeps the oil quality high at start up. Thanks for watching please do subscribe us at UA Technical Solutions.